Hey everybody, uh, back again with another project uh, using Ego batteries as the power source. Uh, this is my um, hardtail mountain bike, got from bikesdirect.com. Great place for great deals if you haven't been there. Uh, I, I'm not affiliated with them, but I just, I love their, their stuff and I know a lot of people who go through them and get some really quality bikes. So, um, so yeah, so I wanted to just go through uh, some of the issues that I found uh, doing mine. Uh, I bought off of Amazon the, I'll put a link to it, I think it's like CS Store, CV Store, something like that. Um, I can't remember. But they advertised it as a two kilowatt and 52 volt controller and as you can see as I got it let's see if you can see down in here right there 36 48 volt 20 amp uh, it was advertised as a 40 amp continuous but it's actually a 40, 40 amp controller uh, max, not continuous. And after going through some chats with them, um, they just, they, they, they're just trying to scam you. So if you go on Amazon and you find one that says two kilowatt, 52 volt, 40 amp controller, do not buy it. It is the same damn thing as, I don't know, this is probably, this is probably the same size as some of those one kilowatt um, or 1000 watt motors. Uh, it's not the size of the 750, but um, I looked online and found several that were the 20 amp, 36 to 48 volt controllers with that size motor. And it was about the, the, the 1000 watt. So I paid an extra two or $300 thinking that I was gonna get a nice 40 amp, uh, you know, pure sine wave controller. And they refused to uh, let me return it. They refused to give me back my money. Um, it, they refused to acknowledge that, that they had uh, false advertising. So just so everybody else knows, don't do it. Okay, so continuing on, um, I wanted to see if I could get this thing to work with the Ego batteries, right? So the only, the, the hardest part of this whole build was getting the, the axle into the dropouts. They were the right size, uh, just there was, I don't know if it was buildup of paint or whatever, but I took a small file, it's a very, a very small, small file, and filed, filed down the edges, um, and boom, it fit right in. So uh, that was easy. Seriously, it took, it took uh, well, not counting the filing down, it took 10 minutes to get this whole thing set up. Um, super easy. The wiring, um, I'll show you the display and the, the thumb, the thumb throttle in a second. I tried getting the, um, pedal assist set up and there just wasn't really a good way to set it up on my bike and so um yeah I just I took it off um and it's it hasn't made a difference I I, I use it the thumb controller when I use it and don't when I don't so the one thing I did have to do was was create a an XT60 and I wanted to make sure I had an anti-spark um, uh, connector to the battery so I just um, set up a an XT90 connector which uh, connects to to the Ego battery let me uh, let me pause this for a second and then I'll I'll uh, show you how that's how that's how it looks okay there it is uh, set up right set up I did get a 
spike rack mount for the where to put the battery and the the adapter I got off of uh, eBay it was like 30 25 30 35 bucks something like that uh, I did try it does come with you know the holes uh, for connecting to where your water bottle goes or here and I tried that but the 2.5 see it here the 2.5 fits just fine it fits in there and it's not too wide if I go above anything else like uh, 5.0 or the 7.5 then it was just too wide and my the cranks and my feet would would bang into them so that's why I decided to go with the little bike rack in the back and I just right now I need to find a better way to uh, it comes with this bungee cord but I need to find a better way to once it's in here and I'll show you in a second make sure it stays in here right um, yeah let me get, let me get that uh, hooked in hold on a second okay so here's the the two and a half 2.5 amp hour and with this battery I've done this is the only one I've done really uh, any tests tests on it let me make sure it's uh, it has some has some juice left so this is the only one I've done any actual like distance tests with and I've been I've been able to do um, able to do uh, 18 miles so yeah I just use the bungee cord right now I need some velcro or something to kind of keep it snug in there um, so yeah so it just plugs in like that it's, um, let me plug this in Okay, nice. Anti-spark. Love that. Okay. Let's uh, show you what I got here. So hold it, turn it on. There we go. So yeah, it shows 54 volts. There's the outside temperature, motor temperature. Um, I have not gotten this anything anywhere close to even a thousand watts. I've gotten it up to... 40 35 40 miles an hour I think it was the was the uh, highest I've gotten it but uh, yeah it's uh, it's pretty great let me uh, show you that here's the, the thumb throttle right there and I have it spaced a little bit away because it was just the spacing of all this other stuff it was hitting into some of these and so I have it over here but let me uh, let me show you the motor while I while I pull on the thumb throttle. Maybe, hold on a minute. Ooh, okay. So yeah, see it's still working. Um, I've checked the heat on the, you know, to see how hot the uh, the wires get the the, the controller. Um, nothing's gotten hot yet, except outside. It's like freaking hot. It's like a hundred and two degrees today. Anyway, um, yeah. So if you're interested and, and curious about, oh, I also didn't hook up. Just anybody wondering, I did not hook up the uh, controller disconnect brakes. I didn't want to get into all that. Um, I just wanted a simple, a simple motor that I could turn on and off. My brakes are really good. Um, the pads on them are awesome. So, so I didn't feel like I needed to worry about the whole engine cutoff thing. Um, let's look at the settings that I have. Okay. Here's my settings. If anybody's interested or just curious about how I set mine up, I, I looked on YouTube for a few uh, few videos on we, what each of those means. 
Uh, I won't go into that because I'm sure you can find the same videos as I did. Um, but yeah, if you if there's if you see anything that I need to change, please go ahead and feel free to comment it down there at the bottom. But uh, uh, no, that's not what I want. Okay, I just hold it, hold the power to go back. Yeah, so the the whole pot pedal assist thing. Um, I actually leave it at five. Since I don't have pedal assist, I'll sit up, so I really don't care about that. Okay, so that's been my my review. You can use a Ego battery that is 56 volt uh, to power your mountain bike. Uh, other people have left disclaimers on you shouldn't do this, blah, blah, blah. So like, I guess I'll go with the same disclaimer that uh, this was my test. If you want to do something similar, make sure you get a professional's help. Um, this is not me telling you what to do, all that kind of disclaimer stuff. This is mine, mine alone. Is that good enough? Hope so. Um, yeah, my next trial is to do put on a, uh, a four uh, amp hour or a five amp hour and those do have, the, the five amp hour does have an output of 40 amps. So I'm gonna see, uh, see if the controller can, can handle it for how long and see if it blows up or anything. Anyway, cool, all right. You guys have a good one. Leave any, any comments or questions there in the comments and uh, I'll check you guys with the, uh, the next project I'm gonna be doing. Bye.